Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we are at the end of season seven uh, with a okay selection of players, I want to say. Um, not that impressive, but okay. Uh, we had Gabriel Jesus, uh, Matt Tweedy and Draxler. Uh, now, when I first saw them, I thought that I would probably go for that Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus. Um, even though he had a three-star weak foot, I thought having him at 91 rated, although, uh, less than the other two because Drax and Mal TD is at 92. Um, I thought he had okay stats and he's Brazilian from the plan as a striker. Uh, he was going to give me good links to uh, do in the team. Um, also that Drax which looks um, like the best out of the three choices maybe with a four star, five star, very good stats, uh, good traits. Uh, it looks like the best choice if he fits in your team. Um, Last night, uh, um, after that Ribery SPC, um, I decided that I was going to go with Matuidi. Plus, with the latest uh, fan vote, uh, which is going to be probably one of Dembele, Dembele or um, St. Maxim. So, if either of those two win, I'm going to do both the SPCs of uh, Ribery and uh, the fan favorite, if it's Dembele or Maxim, and go in the 4 3 3 and put uh, Matuidi up top as a striker and I have uh, the link to the left to Ribéry and the link as a friends to the right. So he fits in that uh, concept of a team that I like. Also because he has very, very good stats. So let's have a quick look. This is uh, Blaise Matuidi from Juventus or Piemonte Calcio for FIFA 20. Um, he's uh, upgraded from his base 95. He has an inform or play Mormons at 96. So from his uh, base card, we have about 70 base stats and about 330 in-game stats. So it's a nice big boost at uh, seven ratings. We get a lot of stats. He's at 180 height, so he's about 5'11". Uh, medium height, uh, very good work rates, uh, left-footed. And the only thing that is probably bad on this card is his two-star weak foot. Also the skill moves, but if you play him as a CDM, there's not a lot of skilling that you would need there. Uh, more importantly, that weak foot, if they at least upgrade him to at least like a three star it would have been a much much more desirable card so let's uh, quickly have a look at these stats uh, i haven't applied a chem style to this card because as you can see with a base um base chem style he gets uh good uh points all spread around so we have overall pace 88 with 90 acceleration 85 sprint speed and we get plus five in sprint speed so we go to 90 and 90 which is nice uh, we get a few points in uh, shooting he has very low finishing um but I don't know, maybe you can play him as a box to box. Maybe we'll, we'll try him there as a CM and see if he can get close to the area, how well he can score. Uh, passing is really nice at overall 89 with great vision that goes over 90. Uh, short pass at 99, long pass at 95 and a bit low on curve, but we get to 75, which is going to be all right. Uh, the other great uh, thing about this card is his dribbling. He has amazing, amazing stats in dribbling for a CDM at uh, 96 agility and 92 balance and 98 reactions. Great ball control, great dribbling and very, very good composure at 95. So um, very, very nice stats in his dribbling. Uh, great defending that needs almost no improvement with amazing interceptions at 96 and great marking at 95. Uh, good standing tackle and good slide tackle as well. And very good physical with uh, 95 jumping, uh, maxed out stamina, which is important at this stage in the game at 99. Great strength, we get plus five more, which is gonna be important to 89. And very good aggression, almost maxed out. Uh, we get uh, two traits. We get the solid player trait, which is a uh, trait good for defenders. Uh, it means that uh, when he collides with another player, it's less likely that he will get injured. So it's an okay trait to have for a defender. And we get the finesse shot. So I don't know how that will apply with his finishing. Uh, if we play him and he gets close to the area, we'll see how uh, and maybe we can score a finesse shot with this guy. So all in all, it looks like an, uh, a very, very good player. Uh, like I said, he's going to fit the team that I want him to do. I'm going to wait for the fan vote to finish and see who wins that and probably do that one first because that one's going to have an expiry and then do the ribbery and uh, uh, put them all in. So let's go into a couple of games of uh, foot champions and test this card out. All right, so here we go with our first opponent. Um, it's a Prem Bundesliga team, half and half. Very nice. A lot of special cards, a lot of colors. Very nice. So for the first game, we'll try the 4-2-3-1 formation where we're going to try storyline uh, Matuidi in the main CDM position. Let's we'll stay back instructions. All right. So no pressure to push up. As you can see, it's holding nice in the midfield. 
go. Good pass. Another one. Benzema. Turn. Shoot. Oh my god. Mateus. Still not pushing up, but we will get him here. Shoot. I saw no right shot there. Good power. Oh, Mendy. Not my Tweedy there. Nice hold. Good pass to Benzema. So Tweedy. Straight up finesse. That was very nice, actually. Oh, nice. My Tweedy. Switch sides there. Come on. Hold in. Nice. Again. Tweedy. Hold the ball. Yes. Good pass. There it is. Another one. Nice, Matuidi covering the other side there. Very nice. Go. Yes, Matuidi. Nice marking. Good steal. Nice, Matuidi again. Good marking there. Shoot, Bruno. Oh, oh my God. Yes, come on. Yes, Matuidi. Yes, nice. Good tackle there. Oh. Yes, Bruno. Finish now. That's it. Finally. Nice. Marking Matuidi again in the right spot. Nice. Matuidi. Oh. Yes, Matuidi. Help me. Nice. Go. Matuidi again is everywhere. Oh, there it is. Oof, that was a great goal there to seal it off. Give me the. Oh my god. Anyways, we get a kickoff goal. Concede a kickoff goal at the end. It doesn't matter really, as we get the win 2 1. And uh, this win, it was completely because of Matridi. I mean, he was a rock. In the midfield, uh, he stopped everything. Um, although he gets 8.8, it .8, doesn't get man of the match uh, because of Bruno getting two goals. But for me, he was a man of the match. He did everything in the midfield. Uh, we tried a couple of shots at the beginning, which were not bad. As you can see, 36 on 37 passes. He was doing everything and not a just one pass missed out of 37. It's incredible. Great dribbling as well. As you can see, one missed out of 30. Um, and one-on-one -on -one tackles one, but the most important thing and the very, very impressive thing on this card was his marking. Uh, he was where he needed to be and he intercepted, I don't know how many times the ball, so he was amazing in this game. So let's go into another game. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be our second uh, opponent. It's a very nice hybrid of a lot of cards. Nice Messi, Ibra, Kessi, Neymar, Mbappe. Very nice. So for this second game, I'm going to attempt to go in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow so we can play Matuidi in the CM position uh, so we can see how he defends and attacks as well um, with no instructions. But if it doesn't work out because that 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is not working well for me lately, uh, we're going to switch back to the 4-2-3-1. Come on, Virgil. Oh my God, what are you doing there? What the hell? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that goal went in. Give me that. Give me that. Yes. Yes, Benzema. Shoot. Yes, what a shot. Oh my god. That dip on the ball was amazing. There's my Tweedy again. And the right spot. Oh. No side. There's my Tweedy with a nice pass. Again, again, wow, nice Matuidi, so we're switching back to the 4-2-3-1. Not getting the space here that I need. Nice, my 3D again, showing good marking. Go, Benzema, go, go, oh, no! No, oh, that extra touch, you killed me there. Get it. Why? 
Get it, my PD? Nice, again with great marking. Oh, go, oh, my 3D, nice. Good pass. Come on, Bruno. Shoot. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. I'm missing so many chances. Pass. Yes. Yes, there we go. I don't know how that went in. He saved it and it went from Van Dyke, something like that. Get it, get it, get it, horses, get it, get it. Ah. Get it. Come on, Bins. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Reminds me of that uh, Real Madrid uh, Champions League goal against Liverpool with uh, Carriers. D from outside. Ooh, that was a great finish shot. Wow. All right, and that's going to be game. Very hard fought game. Uh, my opponent was really, really good. Um, very nice from Matt Tweedy, uh, especially in the first half. We played that 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Um, he played well, but I just couldn't get the space, so I had to switch in the second half for this 4 2 3 1 uh, with Matt Tweedy in the CDM spot as well. So. Uh, another great performance uh, with uh, one goal assist, uh, one-on-one -on -one shots on target. That was a very, very nice uh, finesse shot at the end. 20 on 20 passes once again, 14 on 14 dribbles and one-on-one -on -one tackles. Again, though, what uh, was very, very nice about him was his marking ability. Even as a CM, he was always, almost always in between the passes, uh, cutting that passing lane. So it was uh, fantastic work for him. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have uh, Storyline Season 7, um, Blaze Matuidi. Yeah, it's a much better card than I expected. Uh, I thought uh, that um, I, was, I needed this card actually to make this uh, upcoming team that I want to do. And from the stats, it looked like a very nice player to have. Uh, but I didn't expect him to be this good. He was really, really good. I was uh, pleasantly surprised it, with the basic chem style. I might try him with an anchor as well, give him a bit more of acceleration there. Uh, or even a shadow, I don't know, because his dribbling doesn't need anything um, as physical, that five strength. I don't know. I don't think he needs it. Uh, he was really, really tough to get off the ball. Uh, what is really good about him is his passing is amazing. His dribbling is on spot, very good to dribble. Uh, even if you miss a tackle, you can quickly recover with this guy and chase down the uh, opponent. Um, his marking, his defensive awareness, you can see at 95, he's fantastic. Um, the only thing I had on him, on him was a stay back uh, on the 4-2-3-1 and uh, default on the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. But his marking uh, and cutting, cutting the passing legs was exceptional. Uh, it's a really nice card to be played in the CDM spot. I'm really, really happy with his choice. And also, I suspect it's a really nice card to play as a secondary CDM. Uh, maybe you put in another uh, chem style that will boost up a bit that finishing. Uh, and maybe that passing and you have a great CM that can work in attack as well. All in all, I think it's a great card. Uh, the weak foot, I didn't um, find it in the game to be a weakness. Um, with the shooting, obviously I have to turn on his left, so I lost uh, the ball a couple of times at the beginning when I wanted to try a shot. Uh, but that's not a very important with him because you're not going to get that many chances if you play him at CDM, so it doesn't really matter. When tackling, um, or dribbling, I didn't find any anything that uh, will worry me with a two-star weak foot. So for me, uh, that was great. All in all, I really, really like this card. Uh, I think it's a very, very good card. Uh, if you don't really need any of the choices to make it in your team and you're just looking for a good card, I would definitely like rent, uh, recommend this Matuidi, especially because he's Serial and French and the French flag gives you so many hybrids and uh, link possibilities. So this is an amazing card for me. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.